Right, hello everybody. Welcome to the neutral cast of Chunter vs. Davo. Um, so, what we've got is, we've got Chunter, it's a, it's a tough task for Chunter. He's got 14 players um, versus 12. He's got some good gutters. Um, but he doesn't have a killer Storm Vermin, like a, he doesn't have a proper, like, okay, he's got a mighty blow. But he doesn't have a, really a killer, he doesn't have a killer Storm Vermin. He's got this... Rat Ogre, which I think he should have sacked to get a wizard, but he didn't. Um, and he's had to receive. I'm sure Dave won the toss and made him made him receive. Um, because it doesn't make any sense to receive because he wants to get the one turn, doesn't he? So I'm sure Dave won the toss and chose to kick. And yeah, it, it, like, you know, dave has got a really good Chaos team. Um, he's got everything you need. It's not the best ball carrier. Obviously, we'd rather have dodge as well. But it's fine, isn't it? Um, and he's got great warriors, a killer, and not such a good killer. But he's got a perfect killer, and not a great killer, but it's still a killer. And he's got uh, some guards and great warriors. So it's looking real rough, real rough for Chunter, I think. Honestly, to to the point where, apart from dicing him. Um, like, obviously, anyone can win if they dice somebody. But apart from dicing him, I kind of don't see how he wins this one. This is uh, this is really tough for, for Chunter, I think. Especially as he's just not going to protect his gutters. Because <laughs> it's it's not what Chunter does. Chunter does not protect his gutters. And he's already exposing this guy to get 3D'd and pommed on turn 1. Which I don't like. So, I think this is going to be... Uh, Of course he can afford the wizard. This guy's like 200 TV. <laughs> of course he can have a wizard. <laughs> the hell, man. Look, at, look how much this guy, what? How much is this guy worth? 220 TV or something stupid? All right, here we go, huh? Hello. What have I, what have I missed thus far? Um, not a lot. You you don't, Van Fox. You you yours must have yours must yours must have glitched or something. Hello, Gorilla Metso joining us. Um, hello, hello. Yeah. Um, Chunter has been forced to receive. I'm pretty sure he didn't choose to receive because he wants to score the one turn, doesn't he? Uh, yeah. So. I assume. Oh, in your game, I assume you received, right? Or you didn't choose to receive? No, I didn't. Ah, I didn't choose to kick. No. No. That's what I meant. That's what I meant. I might have okay, done sorry. though. I might have done. I, I might have done. I might have genuinely chosen to just because I needed the players and the wizard, didn't I? So mm -hmm, fair enough. I might have done. neutral mezzo. <laughs> Why am I neutral mezzo? Because yeah. I'm, uh, I'm on side. I, I don't know. I, I generally would. You know, I, I like Chunter just fine, but uh, I like Devo too. I want to see Devo get a deep playoff run once in his life. <laughs> which, be, which, I, which I think by those standards means getting to round two thus far. So, you know, I'll baby step. All right, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, this is neutral cast. I know. Thanks I'm being. Fun. I'm being funny. <laughs> oh, so uh, I didn't tell you though. At the start of your game, I typed in Jimmy to find your game. <laughs> <laughs> it brought up some rando named Jimmy something else, uh, whose team name was Weirwolves, which was a former <laughs> team name of yours. Yeah. So I was very confused, but like the like I would have probably casted that game for about three turns before noticing it <laughs> if it hadn't started on like turn five. I was like, wait a minute, that's not right. Wow. <laughs> wow, look at this. Look <laughs> that is that is a funny story, but look at that. I mean, I said that straight away. I said that's awful by Chun. They're giving up a three dice claw pom hit. Yep. It's he, he spent the reroll on it, which I think is absolutely valid. And uh and what does he get for it? Nothing. Classic Chun. <laughs> Classic Chun. Yeah. Chunter. I like Chunter a lot, but one of the reasons I'd be okay with rooting for Andy over him in this game is because of the Chunter dice. Like, it is definitely a, a clear and present danger for everyone playing against him. Yeah, like, that's insane, because it really the, dude, is. the dude's got tackles, so, like, he, you know... <laughs> <laughs> he's not really more protected than, than a rookie even though he would have brought down a rookie there and probably made a cast the, f the fact like that was there was no need to uh, 
There was no need to expose that guy at all, was there? I, I, I did not condone that behaviour. Chunnam might be able to make a big push down here because Dave has got both claw pommers on one side, hasn't he? So I think it's definitely worth uh, trying to knock down this strength five warrior. Maybe stick the boot in. Does he have a dirty player? No. I think he probably wants to push up this side. Pretty strong, actually. Scary for Chunter in here. It's, it is rough, like. I think it's a real rough match, personally. I, I tend to agree. Is he, uh, Chunter, is, does Chunter generally like two, three turn with this team? I, I think he's not afraid to against bash teams because okay, fair you're, enough, you're yeah. on a clock, aren't you? It, it, a lot of the time, if you don't score quick, you're just not going to score at all. So, and obviously, with his def with his style of defense, um, you know, he, he can cause problems to people when he gets to. Uh, you know what I mean? Ugh. Yeah, I can't believe it in Sakuraga. I just literally can't believe it in Sakuraga. It's just taking a wizard away from him. If he's got the wizard, he's terrifying for Devo. You know, he's got this edge five that can just get the ball wherever it goes, get it to another gutter, and he scores. Like, any turn. any Every single yeah. turn is terrifying for Devo with a wizard. Without the what wizard, was, he's got What was the TV... Oh, sorry. No, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> what was the TV breakdown on this game? Uh, the, I think I think Shunter has got ten more TV than Devo. Ah, okay, okay. But Devo has a bribe. Does he? He does. Ah. Well, I saw Chunter's stream and he... Oh, okay, so I guess that's why he couldn't get the wizard then. Oh, but then maybe he bought another player or something. Has Devo scummed a bribe? He couldn't have, because he can only spend 40k. Yeah. Oh god. Oh god, Jim, no. <laughs> <laughs> can somebody... Has somebody got the game? Can yep. you see what the TVs of the teams are, please? Yeah. Uh, actually, I can check that. I can probably check that myself. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Gorilla. Some, someone's probably going to beat us to it, but chances <laughs> are my replay is going to freeze anyway, so... Might as well. <laughs> Oh god, this involves me having had anyone in CCL ever to look at. <laughs> oh Jesus, this is good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh dear, I'm going to have to make a team to do this shit. <laughs> um, well, I think there was 10 TV difference, but then maybe what happened was maybe Davo sacked his 13th player and that gave him the bribe. Maybe, that, maybe that's what happened. Uh, let's see here. Okay, now I'm in it. I'm in it now. Champions Cup 34, right? And that's where we're at. Yep. Teams. <laughs> Andy. Well, I don't think you can. I don't think you can use the search tool to search. Funnily enough. No, you sure can't. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. All right, Crystal Hunter has 1940 TV. Davo has. A team that has a TV value of eighteen seventy. Yeah. So, he so yeah, yeah. Manager. So yeah. So he was able to scum it. Scum it. Yeah. Yeah. He sucked a beast man to do that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Mystery solved. Thanks. <laughs> no problem. But I still think Chunter could have sacked. Could have sacked the Roger. And then, you know, sacked another lineman as well or something. And, like, I'd, I don't know. I, I, if I was Chunter, I would have done everything I could to get a wizard for this game. Because, to me, the, the wizard's just so much more of a threat than the roger is. I would not want to play against Chunter's team with those, especially those two gutter runners. Really, those three gutter runners and a wizard. Not a chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like the rogue is just too easily two D and cast. Like it's so easy uh, to just two D and cast him. Oh, well, question for you though. He's got a natural one turner, and he's on the he's on the pitch right now. 
because it's his offense. I feel like I wouldn't want to give Davo a chance at him, but I guess he's not really because he's... Well, he's got the ball, so yeah, he's, so you don't want to give yeah, him a chance at the ball as well. He's so. fat, yeah, 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 fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. He's <laughs> fast scoring, and it looks like he's fast scoring. Yeah. You might do the fast stall thing where you get ahead and then, you know, you can run from side to side and stuff and yeah. squash up, so Davo's going to do his best to uh, prevent the stalls. And... I think he might be tempted to three dice this uh, gutter, or he's gonna no, he's gonna two dice the rogue. So I guess the rogue is gonna do a job here. The rogue gets yeah, the rogue gets two diced. So it, it is maybe saving a gutter from death. <laughs> Cause that that could have been a three D gutter, couldn't it, and piled on. Yeah. It's just movement twelve. It's not a natural one turn. Oh, good point for me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh. Arch yeah. five leap. Sure. Oh, that's hands. leap. Oh, I thought that was sprint, not leap. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, good call. <laughs> Hello, Cap Caprion. <laughs> did you, did you, did you win? Did you with your with your vampires? Congratulations. Oh, there are. I hope so. I want to <laughs> see the vamp match so bad. I know how how excited you get to get hypno gaze, Jim. <laughs> I do love a penetrating gaze. Especially if he's down TV and has a wizard, you'll just have the most fun of your life. <laughs> yeah. <in> that match. <laughs> All Caprian has to do is play slow, and Jim's like nerves will kill him before the second half. So. <laughs> um, he didn't didn't kill my team at all, Cap Caprian. He didn't kill anybody. That's why he lost. Oh yeah. <laughs> sure. Well, I mean, in, in fairness, there were three deaths in that game. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> he didn't reduce. No, no. He, my TV increased because my my miss next game where I came back. <laughs> he did nothing. He just did literally nothing. That, it was an absolute dicing. Oh man, absolute dicing. Oh, that's exciting. As fun as it would have been to watch you go through kill Nurgle and kill Chaos, it's more fun to see you have to play vamps. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Especially if I lose to the vamps. <laughs> yep. That's especially... I haven't seen that team, but I assume it's pretty decent. Yeah. He, I mean, he got through that Chaos team, too. So. Yeah, it's vamps. They've got a wizard, and, you know, they probably have a wizard against me, and they can roll dice, can't they? So there you go. It'll be tricky, definitely. I'd still probably play the vamps than the Nurgle, though. <laughs> I would have rather well, drawn the vamps first, but they're definitely going to be tricky. Oh, man, look, his first action roger, shouldn't I? Yeah, he had a long think about it, too. <laughs> Not even taking the pals. <laughs> Outrageous. <laughs> oh, could he surf Davo here, though? He sure could. Yeah, I just think he wanted to get Oh, no, he can't, no, he can't. Knocks him down. <laughs> <laughs> four, a four square surf on Andy Davo is always something you look for in a game. <laughs> yeah, I guess he's going to... Now that frees up three players, doesn't it? He's got the other gut that can dodge out. All the guts can dodge out, actually. So It's rough. Though. It's so rough. I mean, I am, I am unbiased, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, I, I, obviously I'd rather somebody won, but I don't, I'm not going to be biased in the commentary. Oh, it's a little rowdy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe he's going to score this turn. Yeah, maybe he's going to take a hit and then score. Yeah. But if he was going to do that, you'd think he would have put that Roger with Guard in so he could get multiple hits. I still think he's not going to get multiple hits, even if he does. Like, that's the thing. He's so, yeah. so yeah, weak, aren't they? He's going to have to do all this just Ooh, to get... it's going to GFI! <sighs> Don't like that. <laughs> Fucking Shunter. <laughs> Gets the pow! And that means he doesn't need a dodge from Taco, which is something, I guess, but... Yeah, no, I don't need to be. I don't need to be mean, do I? <laughs> I'm 
and gets the KO as quintessentially <laughs> chunter as you can imagine. <laughs> yeah, it makes you wonder what he's going to do with these guys now. The ball. I think I'd still just at this point be a little more comfortable scoring than not. Uh... I think there's no way he scores now. Not after. But he's going to get... I mean, he's getting a gutter runner hit. A pretty decent gutter runner. <laughs> this is Chunter, though. That's like... That's... <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> he basically fetishizes getting his gutter runner's hit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the ball's definitely safe, but I don't see how the Russell tackle strip dauntless sacker doesn't get instantly... Claw palmed, not no. that the claw matters. No, no, but he did that for no reason on turn one, he hung him out, so. Yeah. <laughs> At least he's made it hard to hit the strength of the guy. Uh, oh, look, my replay for us. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, wait, no, he's just running the clock down, huh? Hey. <laughs> it's running it down real low. Oh, fair enough. I never panicked hold a little the key. There. Devo's never going to be in, in the JFW. Because it'll be too open for. Uh, he might might make it into shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess he he could be in shit, but he's never going to be in the JFW. Nah, no, no, I I'm not a huge fan of um, using people against their will. You know, yeah. like if Davo is like or Davo or Zunk were like, we like what you're doing because like I've, I've I talk to them, I hang out in their stream. You know, if Zunk was like, I want to see myself in JFW, but I don't think that'll ever happen, he'd be like, I'd do it. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, I'd do it if he wanted it, but but even then, I don't know, because it's going to invite people to say, like, why have you got him? You know? No, yeah, yeah, I mean, that's, that's fair. That, that is fair. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, look, if the JFW can employ fucking Dimmy G, it can take Davo into its ranks. <laughs> Dimmy! <laughs> yeah, the Dimmy G memes are something else, aren't they? Um, I'm not entirely very impressed by them, no. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm glad that he's got his debut anyway, you know, it's alright now. Oh, did you put him in tonight? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. I wasn't gonna use him, but Yeah. I was gonna I was gonna wait after I made that card because I, I didn't know if he was gonna be a heavyweight or like a Yeah, well that's heavyweight. the thing that you didn't know, so I thought, well seeing as you didn't know, maybe you wanted him in, so I put him in. Well, I mean, I, yeah, I, I didn't, but I don't really care. <laughs> I got one show I care about at this point. Fair enough. It's all, it's all that matters. The other two are just to make you feel better. <laughs> Thanks, Necropotons. Yeah, it was, it was very lucky. Very lucky, but uh, I think I played well. And I think maybe he <laughs> didn't by, by kind of exposing the ball a bit, but... It was just absolute, absolute dice. And Wait, absolute... you didn't seriously put him against Demon Rick, did you? No. The triple threat. Okay. Triple threat. Okay. Dimmy, uh, Dimmy Ordont and Spenny. Uh, oh. Okay, yeah, you swapped him in. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, because Rick is um, not <laughs> a, pl a plim plump loser or a heavyweight. <laughs> No. Nor should he be put in a one-on-one -on -one match where he can easily just lose because the game is dumb. And then we have to explain away that again after spending a month fixing that. <laughs> He's not three-dicing him. He's not three-dicing that gutter. Oh, my god! What the hell is he doing? Wait, he hasn't... Uh, is he even hitting him? Oh, yeah. Oh, he's, he's pumming the... He's in the roger again. He's pumming the roger. And he's going to push... Oh, <laughs> Well, I don't know about that greed there. No, not without block. Well, he got the break. And Here's insta pylon here. 
Yeah, and it gets the KO for it. So yeah, the, the rogue has eaten a reroll and and it saved Gutters from bit getting hit twice. Yeah. So I yep. guess it did something. I I really don't know about not hitting that um that that one gutter there. Yeah, I would want that thing nice. out of my life as soon as physically fucking possible. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I would want rid of a gutter, and I would want I would actively want him to have the rogue on the field. Cause he's yeah, rubbish. that was my next. That was actually my very next line too. <laughs> like, I mean, I get it. I get it. He gets the strength bully a little bit more, but like he's gonna do that. They're fucking scaven anyway. Like, yeah, that that rogue had two one in thirty six chances to just straight blue the game for Chunter that game that turn last turn. Chunter was about one in eighteen just to lose from the rat ogre. Yep. <laughs> so like, <laughs> and, and he's, he's, gonna, have, he's, he's got a bribe. He's got a bribe. Saul Invictus doesn't really matter. It's the only thing he could really hit effectively. Yeah, I don't like. I still don't like doing it. He's only got twelve men. I really don't yeah. like doing it. It's like basically trying to high roll, which I don't think you need to do in this matchup. I just think all you need to do is not lose to the imaginary wizard. <laughs> right. <laughs> um. So yeah, I, I don't like those kind of fouls. I mean, that's why I fouled with a non-dirty player in that match, because then I wouldn't have to use the bribe and that, you know, and then keep the bribe for right. the second half and stuff. Um, I think Chunter gets another turn of stall out of this anyway, doesn't he? He's got a free dodge out, so he can have all three gutters free. So I think whatever happens, he's no. he's got uh, he's got him. I mean, again, he can't protect all of his gutters if he does it, but I don't think David doesn't seem to care that much about them. <laughs> no, no, and Chunter surely doesn't care about all of his gutters, so I'm sure he'll get another no. turn of stall out of this if he wants it. He might not, because this gives him four turns to score. I think giving Dave or five turns to score is a bit too easy, though, so I think he might he might try and stall out and then go for the turnover in three for the two now. Yeah, Chunter, ch protecting gutters is never high on Chunter's uh, <laughs> priority list. <laughs> it really isn't. It's not taking the pick mick out of him or anything. It just really isn't. He just he just doesn't care, does he? He'll he'll just do whatever he thinks he has to do to get the win. He d he only cares about the position and that rather than the pieces, which are well, that's not not really true. But he prioritizes the position over pieces, whereas. And maybe I go the other way too much, but um, I'm not saying he's wrong and I'm right and he's wrong, but that's just the way he is. You protect them a bit, yeah, that's, he's not completely, like, he's not completely brainless or anything, but he definitely thinks more about, you know, he definitely prioritises the position over the players, not to yeah. the complete expense of them. Um. And in the same way as I remember PTK in the uh, in a, in the Blitz Pit that I watched with his uh, Dark Elves, he 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 valued position over everything really, which was I found it very surprising. Obviously, I wouldn't call him wrong either. So there you go. Right, I guess he's just trying to protect. Yeah, if you can make this line rat dodge, you might even have two more turns of stalling in his life. Well, you can't. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure that's why I use the reroll to try and to yeah. try and get more protection in, stop three Ds, and then maybe get an extra turn of stall. I think you'll be okay with scoring here, though, and trying to... You know, because with two rerolls, David with four turns could be forced into something a bit dodgy. And then, uh, and obviously, three turns is well enough for Chunter to get the... Turn over TD. Right, I'm just going to go and uh, get some food, so I shall be right back. All right, well, I'll take over from here. Looks like the Claw Palmer is going to be hitting the Mighty Blow Tackle. Again, Devo, I mean, it's not – you can't say it's wrong. He's, he's trying to remove all of the uh, – all of the uh, harder hitters of the team and thus far doing a decent job, but uh, I really want to hit these gutters. <laughs> I really want to hit these gutters bad. And Devo keeps looking like he's lining up against the bigger guys. Maybe not, though. Maybe this Palmer is going to hit a gutter here. Lignon 
Frappez la force, comme on dit. Oh, he is. He's going in on that gutter. 3 Dism has tackle. Here it comes. Oop, there's the break. Into a Kaz. And uh, sure enough, the uh, Wrestle Stripper, he's only moving eight. I didn't see that. Well, that's the gutter he didn't care about. Oh, no, that he just took that. Sorry. Yep. So there's one gutter down. And uh, probably just scoring next turn. I don't think there's uh, really much he can think about here. That's assuming Chunter fails Dodge's Muppet, which, uh, I don't know. It's not my experience in watching him. <laughs> yeah i mean De devo definitely wants to put someone into his own half there's a score threat um just to uh just to make uh, you know to keep chunter honest but i don't think it's gonna really matter i, I it would be it would, madness if Chunter tries to stall this out. I mean, I guess he could almost <laughs> just, you know, edge five, leap his way out, but there's just enough to be able to get to him. And Chunter going to think about this a little bit, but I got to believe he's not going to roll any dice here. And just score. Mais Bob, au fond, quelle différence y a-t-il entre le bon et le mauvais passeur Ah, je l'attendais celle-là. Je l'attendais. Non mais, le mauvais passeur, bon bah... C'est le gars qui a un ballon, il voit un truc qui bouge, il passe. Et le bon passeur Le bon passeur Eh ben, c'est le gars, il a un ballon, il voit un truc qui bouge, il passe, mais... Yeah, neither of those gutters are on tackle right now, so it is, yeah. Yeah, you could. But you're just, again, that, that, and that, all you're doing there is inviting another hit on a gutter runner. But he did—he stood someone up back there, so he's doing something here. Maybe just taking his hit, and yeah, there's the score. Okay, takes his free hit, takes the score. One nothing, rats. Of the rat baron up, but now Devo with a fair few turns to try and equalize here. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Muppet. Don't love that. All right, Devo, four turns to score. That's more than enough to get Chaos in there, but gutter runners exist. Two edge, five, one with leap, two with leap, one with leap sure hands, and edge, and move 10. <laughs> yeah, if Chunder had a wizard right now, this would probably be about GG. Everyone back. Hello, we did get our score. Oh, lovely. Did you say GG? No, I said if he had the wizard here, it would probably be GG. <laughs> because uh, 
Because because of those gutters. I mean, he can just walk anywhere he wants and grab the ball at any time. I know, right? And just, yeah, having a wizard, if he had the opportunity, I didn't see how that mathed out. You said if he basically cut his roger, he could have got one. Um, yeah, but then Devo cut a beast man, uh, so... Yeah, fair enough. I still think he could have done that. Would have been interesting. Yeah, if he had if he had a wizard in this game, it would have just been horrible for Davo. Uh, you want to swap views, Jim? So we're synced. Sorry, I'm just gonna eat. I'm just eating my eating my. Yeah, no, no rice. problem. I just. <sighs> Yeah, it's, it just looks <laughs> horrible, doesn't it? It looks horrible for Chun. Like, I don't know. I mean, maybe if I played as much Skaven as him, I'd feel differently. But I've played against Skaven, Skaven a fair bit, and you know, if I'm Dave or he, I'm just not concerned. <laughs> what a great meme! But it, it's true, though. I'm just generally not concerned. The only thing that I really care about is their one turn and the wizard. And if they don't have a wizard, then it's it's almost plain sailing, isn't it? Almost. Like, obviously, he hasn't got edge 4 for the pickup, so he can easily fail a pickup or two, and then he just loses. Yeah, um, I mean, the the only thing is with this, with, with Chunter's team, the margin for error for Davo is basically non-existent. If he does anything wrong with the ball at any time, it's going to, like, if it's just, if it's on the floor on any turn other than this kickoff, then he can, Chunter has probably a better chance of getting the ball than Davo does, you know? And, like, I, I don't like being in that situation ever where it's just, like, if one thing goes wrong, the game could just be over. I'd still, I mean, I'd still rather that than have the wizard to face, but. Yeah, that's the thing. No matter how good your team is against Skaven, you're always, if they get a blitz, you're pretty much screwed and <laughs> stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, look, my replay froze. Wow. I don't know why it just constant, constantly happens. That's weird. Oh yeah, Chunter does have kick as well, of course. So he was he's always gonna be able to make it a deep kick. And here you go, on the sideline too. There's that margin of error for you, Jim. Mm. Yeah, Davo's best uh right, because that's two heads, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, his yeah, it's just a uh, oh and he's got a GFI to get it. So a GFI one and nine pickup. <laughs> yeah, and he's only got two rerolls left. He's only got three turns after this, so he's almost got to pick it up this turn. Yeah, well, I mean, he could, he could probably get away not making the GFI this turn if he could, if he was willing to commit like two more players back to guard the ball, because the the gutters aren't really in range there. <laughs> they I still mean, kind of are. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so yeah, like he's. But if he doesn't, there are the this max turn, range from it. Even if he picks it up this turn, he's still like he's still got to make GFIs to score anyway, hasn't he? So like he might as well do the GFI. Like he's got to make three GFIs or a pass to score already. Yeah. So I guess he might as well do the GFI this turn and. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's true. That is true. Oh, certainly, Muppet, certainly. It's kind of an unexciting blitz there. And here it comes. Makes them both double sixes and makes another GFI to style. There you go. 
Yeah, that's a good idea, isn't it? He's got to make these GFIs anywhere to score. They still need two more, doesn't he? Still needs two more GFIs. Yeah. Unless he's, you know, going to hand it off. Yeah, but unlikely. But that, that's worse than the GFIs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chunter down two players for this turn. And two on the floor that are at best going to three plus dodge away. At worst, they're going to stay on the floor. Stava shouldn't have any problems getting his max movement up this turn. Yeah, but that's it. Chunter, okay. he's still got all his players at the moment, hasn't he? More or less. So, like, ten has he got? Ten? Well, he's got nine active this turn because of the stun. But yeah, ten yeah. total on the pitch. So he doesn't have to, he doesn't have to go crazy, um, no. like defending, does he? He could just go safe this turn and safe next turn. And yeah, you can just try and bog him down, like slow him down, and then make that one that one crazy effort at the end to stop the score and call it. Yeah. The real question, Jim, is do we delay the start of Stand Firm to see the end of this game? I guess it depends on what happens in the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a good question. I mean, I guess we might as well. People people probably care more about Blood Bowl than Stand Firm. Yeah, I think I care a little more about this game than I do Stand Firm. <laughs> <laughs> that's, not a good, that's not a good sign for the JFW, is it? <laughs> no, it's fine, man. Mm -hmm. The wrestling on your stream is prospering. Maybe the JFW is struggling, but the rest is fine. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's possible, Bezel. It is slow, isn't it? Dave was a slow player. And <laughs> yeah, that's true. Any time, and then Chun obviously has got a lot to think about with this. Oh, oh boy! There you boy. go. There you go. Oh, look a dog. Oh, Chunt, that's right. Chunter has that special ability where he doesn't have loners, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, Stan Firm's going to be a pretty short show, actually, uh, <laughs> I think. Yeah, that's true, yeah. It does mat the way those matches are, they won't play very long. That might not be. Oh, the main event might last for fucking ever, but... <laughs> yeah. No, I said Chanter. <laughs> All right, the broccoli and rice is devoured. Yeah, it's interesting because he didn't have to make much of a screen this turn, did he? Because Dave was just... Well, he still wants to get in his half if he can, I guess. And he can't, really. He can only go max movement this turn, I guess. Maybe he can blitz this guy and go one square. Make one GFI this turn. In fact, maybe he can power this guy and just, just cage up. He can probably make both GFIs, can't he? And cage up around the dodge guard. And uh, that's exactly who he's blitzing out of the way. So yeah, he might make both GFIs and get get right for forward. To be fair, the break tackle on the rogue might get him two dice on the ball, mightn't it? Oh. 
There goes another. Mm. I was trying to skip the, using the apple there. <laughs> This strength five could could use the could be the cage corner there or there either side. Could be. Yeah, it was already niggled, so now it's now it's really dead. He's still potentially got eleven men for the rest of the match. Oh, and the ro uh, gutter's dead. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Glorious. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Flicky Flack, thank you very much for staying fantastic. For two Hool Beaver pregnancies, eight glorious months, thank you very, very much. Oh yeah. Yeah, so he used that strength five to get the get the cage corn, doesn't he? And probably go double GFI this turn. Get him as far forward as he can. Well, let's kill for this game, GFI Joe. I don't care if it's <laughs> dead or not. <laughs> Badly hurt. Yeah, it's gone for this game. I sometimes call that dead. When it's res or playoffs. Terms almost don't matter, do they? For this game, it's dead. All right, I'm done eating now too. You can tell. Uh, you can tell the way Andy's playing this one. He really, really wants to win this game. <laughs> He, uh, I don't know, I, I'm sure you don't know, but he kind of threw down the gauntlet for this one, saying he wants to really, really make an effort, not that he has in the past, but really make an effort to try and win champs. And, like, I think he used two separate stay-home vacations to basically, like, nine to five it on this team wow. to get this team ready for playoffs. So, you know, <laughs> you know what Blood Bowl does to that level of effort, don't you, Jim? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's probably going to get diced and lose. Yeah, the 200% effort is uh, not a wise decision for most Blood Bowl teams. No. He's, he's got the break tackle in here, hasn't he? Three, four, five, six, but it's double yep. GFI, so that's really looking bad. Maybe he uphills with the uh, rookie here. Or maybe he just makes a screen in front. That's why I thought he shouldn't have uh, made such a big screen because, do you know what I mean? It like uh, he's just got to. You can't really threaten it this turn. Like he couldn't get in the way. He didn't have to get in the way of progress this turn. Or he's got to get in the way of progress the next two turns or whatever. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> he doesn't need guard in his cage corners, does he? He wanted he wanted guard in there, so that he if he gets break tackled in, it will be a one d. He's just not scared of the leap in, I guess. It's just a one d. Who cares? <laughs> yeah, fuck that. Who cares about a one d? <laughs> Like if if Chunter wants to wants to completely sacrifice any sort of conventional defense, then I'm sure he won't mind. Devo won't mind that. Hey Jim, can I make a request to you? Yeah, go on. If all right, good. If both if both you and Devo end up meeting in the playoffs, can me and Zunk call the games? <laughs> yeah, that sounds great. All right, good. Yes, you all heard it here, folks. <laughs> Gorilla Mezzo is on co-cast if these two meet in the playoffs. <laughs> I bet I could convince Zunk to do it. It would be harder to convince Andy to do it, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, <laughs> I thought I thought you wrote Blazed J5. I'd get super stoned with Zunk and call the game my <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as long as you're super, super partisan, both of you, that would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> How is he? 
Oh, that was that was a good move, wasn't it, from Chump at that? Or alternatively, a bad move from Devo, but I didn't spot it, so I think a good move. Yeah, from I didn't Chimp see there. that either. That was really good, and look at that. Yeah, I would I would say good move to Chump rather than bad move to Devo. Very well played, and that's going to put Devo in all sorts of trouble now. And the stun. Oh, but he catches it, the dirty dingo. Oh, that is pretty lucky, <laughs> isn't it? I'm, I'm sure he'll put yeah. the, the sidestepper on him, the strength three sidestepper on him, so yeah. it's, still, it's still tricky for Devo. But that's got to feel a lot better. <laughs> oh, he's not no, putting he's it on not. him. He's no. not. No, he's not. Maximizing blocks. That no, gives you can't him a bit of an score, Chunna. No! Oh, I don't like that. I do not like that. I would have absolutely stuck the gutter on him there. Wow. Ooh, he changed his, changed his mind. <laughs> wow. Oh, he's trying to protect his uh trying to protect his gutter there. I do not like that from Chunna. Honestly, I really liked sticking sticking the. If you stick him on him, then he's got to dodge away from prehensile tail to hit him with a claw palm. Or, you know, he's got to uh, hit him with somebody else and you can sidestep. And then you've got the guard, so he can't do it himself with the ball carrier. So, like, I, I really like sticking the. Uh, sticking the guy on him. Because this is easy to clear the gutter. Uh, the, the, it's easy to clear the. Roger, isn't it? You've got it straight up. Yeah, and a score threat. Yeah, he doesn't have the score threat at all. Like, it seems crazy to me to not have a score threat. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely agree to that. But now, I mean, Davo's got to clear this ball. He's got to protect the ball. Well, actually, he doesn't really have to protect the ball. No, it's easy. The Look, he's, he's got a 2D there yep. on, on yep. the Storm yep. Vermin, and he's got these guys out in front to protect. He can make a full yep. cage, like, easily. This is yeah. crazy to I think from Yeah, Germany. if there's one gutter in in uh in uh Davo's half, then he's gotta be super nervous about everything he does, but ultimately like he's not gonna be thrilled if he fails to score, but he's not gonna lose the game either. No, That's he's true. certainly gonna roll all of the dice here. <laughs> Which he couldn't have done. Um Yeah. If, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think he had to have that guy stuck on the go. Because even it just it gives him the, like it gives him the two assists. He doesn't need a, a give anyone in. He just he's got the two D here as well instantly. Like he doesn't even need to bring anyone in. Whereas if he had the sidestepper there, he would have had to bring in somebody else before making the hit. I think that was a big mistake from Chun. It'd be interesting to see why he did it. Because to me, that's a mistake. But who can say if it was right or wrong? <laughs> well, in that we both have microphones and an audience of uh, several dozen people, uh, we can uh, claim some level of authority. And Jim, I believe we are allowed to say what's right and wrong, <laughs> especially on your stream during your cast. Uh, okay. <laughs> but still, it's still not right. <laughs> I think you shouldn't have followed that, by the way. I think that was a bad follow from Devo. Um, because now he's kind of blocked his path a little bit. Yeah, I was actually just counting squares for that. And it's going to be difficult, but he can go balls to the wall, can't he? That's the main thing. He can go balls to the wall with a score. And I don't know, man. I would have really wanted that guy back there if I was Chumna. And then you've just got the scoring threat. Like it's such yeah, because he's deal. yeah, he's like so, but he and he's like so versatile doing it because he's also canceling the assist. Yeah. Which makes one more assist have to come in, which wastes one more player. Like everything is better about it, and yeah. at you know at minimum he's gonna have to dodge away if not do something else. Yeah, you like, basing, yeah I, know, I you totally agree. agree. Totally agree. Yeah, basing the ball with sidestep, denying an assist, and uh, scoring threat like three, three things in one. Is nothing happening, or has my stream frozen? Again? He is not blitzed with a claw palm. Uh, yeah, I have frozen. God damn it. My replay. I don't understand why that happens. Wow. He did not blitz with a curl palm. Interesting. Did he just block with it? Yeah. No, he blitzed with somebody else. Mmm, weird. 
Oh, because he's going to hand off to him. Okay. But now he can get uh, dived by the gutter. I guess he could have got dived anyway. Well, there you go. He made all the dice rolls anyway, but still. <laughs> I still think it would have been better to have uh, to have had that scoring threat. Like, if he's got that gutter there... Yeah. Oh, oh no, no. 100%. 100%. Because, yeah. like, now, like, if he's got the gutter there, now all of a sudden this 4-plus dodge matters, you know? Yeah. I mean, it still matters, but not that much. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, it'll be interesting to hear why he did it anyway because so sometimes things like that kind of baffle you don't they and then if, if you hear right. their their sensibilities then you can understand why they did it and that. yeah I mean and, and again it, like we showed the turn before that with the roger blitz like neither of us even saw that opening for the roger blitz without the double GFI break tackle so you know mm. it is what it is but that, that one seemed pretty pretty by the books like the gutter yeah. down there changes everything Davo can do this this turn, that yeah. last turn. Yeah. Do, does he does he rely on the roger? I guess he's just trying to move the roger to get the assist here. Nope, the roger can absolutely just clean shot the ball right now. Maybe he shouldn't have taken that dodge at all. <laughs> yeah, but then you want you want him to roll a one with the roger blitz, don't you? That's the thing. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I that think you true. just. Uh, I think you just. Assist with a roger and then blitz with the strength three gutter. Or whatever. Because he's got two plus leaps, hasn't he? So, like, <laughs> he can get the ball pretty easily, however he. Yeah, wants. yeah, absolutely. Oh, he's going to go for the Roger Blitz. Sure is. And here it comes. Just to push. Followed by... He got him. Brilliant. So now he picks up with that gutter and passes it to the gutter who's the scoring threat. And it's 2-0 it's, yeah. it's, it's in his work. <laughs> yep. I, absolutely. I 100% I agree with you. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at the <laughs> scanner as well. Oh, my God. Well. Devo would have been seething, wouldn't he? <laughs> oh, my God, yeah. I mean, I don't think, in fairness, if, if, the gutter, if the gutter had been back there, there's no chance that. Yeah, I know everything would have gone different, but still. Yeah. But again, that again is a reason, right? Because that could have happened. And that, so that's yet another reason to have had this, the, the threat there. But interesting to see why he didn't. There's no chance for David to score now, so. No, no. And that's the main thing, right? It's 1-0 up on his drive. Yep. That's the main thing. Full motor ski into the end zone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, and it was a great, yeah, it was a great chain to get the 2D with a roller, to be fair, earlier. Like, that was great. And it's not like I'm just slating Chunter now. I don't want to come off as biased against Chunter. But uh, it was it was a great spot to get the, uh, to get, to hit the other way, yeah, for sure. Well, we are going to be going into halftime 1-0 down for Andy Davo. He's going to have to win this through overtime, it looks like, which is not where he wanted to be. Uh, <laughs> and that's assuming he can score. He shouldn't have a problem scoring. But again, no margin for error with those gutters on the board. Yeah. Yeah, obviously he's kind of got the inevitability, hasn't he, of... Uh... Removals and everything, and game state. Uh, but it looks yep. like Chuntner will have the chance of a one turn, at least. Yep. Oh yeah, yeah. Good, yeah. Good point too. Always the one turn coming. <laughs> he agrees to try and hurt the rogue. The rogue are really showing its worth, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I, I don't know if I'd call. I don't know if I'd call a turn eight blitz on a rogue agreed. 
He greeted the re-roll, though. Didn't need to try and well, yeah, I mean, I guess, it was a greedy like, re-roll. It's pretty low risk greed. Yeah, it's still it's still greed. Like I, I would, I'm, I'm not. It's not a criticism. It just is factually right. I, yeah, re-roll yeah, fair enough. It wasn't I, I I think of greed as being a re-roll when you absolutely shouldn't and probably don't need to re-roll. All right. But, no, I just call one that wasn't a turnover with Reed River. And, and, and also, there goes Andy's bribe. Yeah. So that paid for itself. On a pointless, on a pointless turn eight foul. Yeah. Absolutely. Bribes, always terrible. How'd your bribe work out in your game, Jim? Uh, pretty great, actually. <laughs> but that's because I didn't make a rubbish foul on turn eight. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what I did was, you see, I fouled with a rookie on turn eight, so I could accept the bribe failing. Oh, yeah. Um, I, what he did was he fouled with his dirty player, so he had to use the bribe on turn eight, which isn't such good play as me. <laughs> but no bias here at Team Neutral, just stating a fact. Well, in fairness, I wasn't setting you up to be smug there. I had actually forgotten. I thought you, Jim, fouled your bribe away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. At the expense, no, but... It, it, that, I didn't. I read. I read. Didn't like that foul. I mean, he had already done one earlier, and I just didn't like it. Um, I think you save it for the second half. You know, if, it it wasn't a great player, was it? Mighty blow tackle. I, I, I think you save it for the second half on any player, or second half on a gutter, or, or a right. rogue. Where I, I didn't like fouling on the mighty blow tackle. I don't think the mighty blow tackle is that good a player to foul personally. I know, right? To life saga, yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? It is crazy, but it's it's high variance, isn't it? The rogue, and it got the hit on the ball, and like, oh, there's the blitz! Oh no, <laughs> Davo's getting Davo'd, folks. Oh boy, you hate to see it. Rats with a blitz, Chunter with a blitz, all of those things. Oh boy, we are at max range. To get to that ball, he for didn't a put rat. anybody over here. He could have, he could have had the comma here and uh, and somebody over here, but he didn't do that. He left the side a bit weak to have this guy back with the ball, which is fair. Davo once again with that first round curse. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not over, obviously, but it's also not. This, not this, over. <laughs> yeah, this gutter, this gutter can can GFI to base the killer, which yep. he'll, he'll want to do. <laughs> oh boy! Brutal, brutal stuff, man. I, I I don't care. I don't care what you think of either coach. You hate to see that against a rat team built like this. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least he's seeing it without a wizard to back it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Oh, imagine. <laughs> and imagine if he was up 2 nil right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, what a what a what a nightmare. Yep. Yeah, the edge five, well the yeah. they're both edge five, they can both reach it. <laughs> <laughs> they're they at max range though, I believe, right? One, two, but I think the strength one bases the ball carrier. The 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 lineman bases the the pommer, the strength one bases the ball carrier, and the other guy catches the ball. <laughs> oh, disgusting. Disgusting stuff from Chunter. Just question which one, which two pluses you do first, isn't it? This guy doesn't even need a leap because he can just dodge. He can just dodge around and get under it. So two GFIs for him, a GFI for him, and a leap. And a G a GFI for him, I think. What um what's that uh what's the uh, that mighty blow tackle Storm Vermin doing over there? I don't know. <laughs> It seems like a weird place for him to go. Oh, the one on the dodge, but doesn't snake it. And he's through, and he's there to catch it. Yep, so now it's just a leap GFI for him. Yeah. I mean, he's got two heads to dodge away and hit with tackle, but then what? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I still think he's going to do it, right? He still wants him there. Oh, of course. He might even, if he doesn't use the reroll on the leap, he might do two GFIs to make it a bit harder for him as well. 
because then he's got to go further, hasn't he? If he's, if he's just yeah. there, then it's one, two, three, four, five. Whereas if he's there, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So I think he might do double GFI. Yeah, he's going to, yeah. That's fair enough. Making more rolls himself to make Dave Hall make more rolls. And now he can tag the Frenzy here as well. He can dodge through. This is a bit harder, but he could dodge through. But, uh, you know, what's he could go this way and then make a four plus three plus to tag the Frenzy. Yeah. yeah. I think that's all right. I think it's worth worth tagging him as well. Don't like this. I think it was definitely worth tagging instead of tagging the Frenzy. Yeah. I guess this this like yeah this is okay actually isn't it yeah that's maybe yeah better. I mean this this helps him out because like even if he does get the ball out of this gutter's hands what the hell does he do with it at that point yeah yeah this is good actually yeah this is good I don't like this this uh, mighty blow though the mighty blow should have probably been directly behind the the rogue or something yeah no this is this is good this is better than what I thought. <laughs> I've decided now. I, I like tagging the frenzy though. I did like tagging the frenzy, but now I think this is better. <laughs> Doesn't even get the pal. What a hero alignment. Well, maybe he used his pushes up though on that one, and here comes the one that matters. Oh, uh, Dave has got to be fucking fuming right now. <laughs> Dodge is good. Hit That's is good. Gets the ball free, but here comes the fun part, folks. <laughs> oh, he gets the break, too. That's a nice break for him. Ball lands in front of him. He's got to pick it up. And he fails the pickup. <laughs> oh my god! Well, now you know what that what that mighty blow guy's there to do. <laughs> He's there to blitz this guy. <laughs> oh, Chunter is just prescient, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh my goodness! <laughs> yeah, I think you. I think that's the obvious play there, isn't it? You just you bring these in, blitz him. It's, yeah, but uh, from that direction is better. Look, look, if anybody can yank the pancake, my boy Andy counts. <laughs> that, was a, that was a funny time to tune in. <laughs> <laughs> I guess uh, Zunk's going full Rick Reckless. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Flip me, guys. Hey, 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 you can't you can't discredit it. It worked for you yesterday. It did work for me. Yeah, it did work for me yesterday. <laughs> But two nil up now. Now, now, Chunter can actually go protecting men's mode, can't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, if Andy's gonna find a way to overtime now, it's gonna be the greatest half of Blood Bowl you'll have ever seen, <laughs> or the stupidest. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've already seen the best game, the best half of Blood Bowl I've ever seen today, where uh, I actually outbash somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bash 500 TV down with a <laughs> useless team. <laughs> this is a terrifying one. That's probably the best half of the ball. Old, uh, English national team dark elf team in the World Cup qualifiers that came back down like 2 nothing and ended up winning 4-3. I think, oh, yeah. do you remember that game yeah. against the Skaven team? Yeah, That's probably the best that. game of Blood Bowl I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Do you know what? I had one, I had one uh, against... Pete W, where he was 2 0 up, I think, with vampires, and I came back and beat him 3 2 with Skaven. That was pretty incredible. Or maybe it was that beat, maybe I beat him 4 3, about on tabletop, but that was incredible because it was Pete W. <laughs> it wasn't just, you know, some some guy with Skaven who had maybe rolled some good dice. I can't remember the game, but I remember it happening and it was pretty amazing, but it's just a Yeah, shame I just. Nobody. It might not have been that, yeah, it might not have been the Blood Bowl's coming home team, but I think it was, because that, that's like, I don't remember a lot of games of Blood Bowl, but I remember that 12 or 13 game run before Burn ruined your life and <laughs> your Blood Bowl career. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was great. I was just confident I was going to go 20 0, because I mean, people were bad in those days. 20 0 wasn't yeah. crazy to think it yeah. was going to happen. Like, it was just after Dom. D what's he called? Uh, whoever he's called. Don Chumford gone 35 and on. 
Shawnee was about to go 36 and 0. So like 20 and 0 wasn't beyond the realms of possibility. Yeah. And that team was good too. They had some good level ups, if I recall. Oh yeah, yeah, they were really nice. Yeah. Man. I mean, to be fair, I misplayed. As much as Burn gets the stick for killing the run, uh, I still misplayed the game after. Well, that was the one where you left the hole on the on the two turn or whatever, <laughs> yeah, right? On the one turn. Yeah. Oh, it was the one turn. It was the one turn. Yeah, it was the one turn. But still, there was still no need to leave the hole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Things be I had a game with uh, with Chaos Dwarves or a bit like goblins or ogres like something like 4-0 and made about made about 36 GFIs or maybe 42 GFIs or something. <laughs> oh wow this might <laughs> suck her in, shouldn't I hear? <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Bezel, yeah. And obviously new players will be playing as well. Oh, this is a bit of a shame because Andy hasn't played poorly or anything. <laughs> uh, it's just not much you can do against this. Does he chain? Does he blitz this guy in chain? Oh, Jesus. That's what he might do. Yeah, looks like that's what he's going to do. But yeah, that's the thing. Did, has he played badly, though? Because... You know, that move that Chunter, that we gave credit to Chunter for the good spot, maybe that was a bad move. Like, I say this about myself all the time. Like, you know, maybe that was a bad move to allow it, but even though we were yep. impressed by it. No, that's fair. And, I mean, and we're, we're whereas we're kind of sitting around three quarters paying attention to a game of Blood Bowl, <laughs> and he's got to be looking for all those things on his turn. So he could have it could have just been a miss by him, or he might have, uh, you know, overestimated or underestimated or whatever. Uh, he maybe could have set up against the blitz a little bit better, but yeah, not so much. You know? Like not not so much. He could have had that guy over the other side, um, but then he wouldn't have had him back. So it's six right. and two threes, isn't right. it? Really. I think and like honestly, been. against against this team, it, it wouldn't have really mattered that yeah. much. Yeah, I think he could have set up That's better against the blitz. Definitely. I mean, he definitely yeah. could have done right because he didn't need. He had about five men in the LOS. He only needed three on the LOS. So he absolutely could have set up better against the yellow, against the Blitz, but it wouldn't have made much difference, no. <laughs> it really wouldn't have matter. Even if it was the best possible setup against the Blitz, it's not going to make a ton of difference because if this team, you know, they've got movement 10, edge 5, there's not a lot. It doesn't really matter, even if it was a perfect setup. Yeah. And yeah, I'm up at pointing out this uh, this game, the quintessential uh, uh, loop pack was right. Uh, extra arms would have been a little bit more valuable. <laughs> yeah. Funny enough, this might be bad from Chunter because now this just makes Devo do a pass, doesn't it? Yep. I yeah, I was thinking that too because like, if Devo rolls the dice, he's home free to score once, and I mean then you know God knows what happens, but. <laughs> That's that's the only way he stays in this game at all. Yeah. So Yeah. So you're actually just playing into his hands. Yeah, okay, it's a horrible failure state and it's horrible chance of success, but yeah. it's literally but David his doesn't play. care. Yeah, David doesn't care if he loses three nothing if he's already gonna lose two nothing. Exactly. So yeah. like you know, maybe you know, like like it doesn't matter in the slightest, he might as well try and pick it up, pass it and break. Yeah. This frenzier or or the warrior, either one. Yep. He's got it easy if he if he can make those dice. Yeah. He gets a score out of it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Muppet, yeah. It's not like he's going to fail six pickups in a row or anything, is it? <laughs> no, <laughs> Yeah, so may maybe maybe this isn't so good by Chunter. I think you just go straight for the pass. Well, I guess you can blitz this guy first so he can't intercept. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. Lob it. 
fuck off. That's it. Uh, it is not going well at all for Andy Davo. Cruz is I'll let someone else decide whether you can call it dicing or not. I think it's just the teams doing what the teams do best as they're built. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there was either... I mean, Chunter went down the field and scored kind of uneventfully in about five turns. Um, Davo had a four-turn drive where either Chunter made a great play or Davo made a lapse to allow um, a, a sweet chain push and a roger ball blitz. And then, so that got Chunter the, 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 the stop on D. And then uh, Chunter rolled a blitz. And obviously, if Chunter's team rolls a blitz against you, it's pretty much GG. <laughs> uh, if you were looking for the dicing of the day, that happened about an hour and a half ago as Jimmy Fantastic uh, <laughs> took down whoever his opponent was. Uh, Diomed, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It wasn't, uh, Diamond, yes, yeah. It's not a dicing was, like my uh, game was, no. That was ugly. <laughs> See, but I didn't like this by Chunter because it's like he's totally overcommitted. He's already 2 0 up. Don't overcommit, 2 0 up. Play safe. I don't know. I, I, I don't really like this from Chunter. Uh, hmm. the, the funny thing is those gutters can, can actually hit the ball. Yeah, yeah, it's stupid, isn't it? It's totally <laughs> stupid. He can. But uh, he can and he can, obviously. And he can also free up the, uh, the blitzer that can't reach. <laughs> Thanks, Christopher. Yeah, it was an, I mean, that was an absolute dicey, to be fair. Oh. <laughs> Rocking the fashion mode still. Jesus Christ. Hello, <laughs> Thor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like that's the thing though, Caprion. He had to anyway, didn't he? You know, it's the only way he's going to get back into it already. So, like, yes, okay, Trump is happy to get the ball back and stuff. But this is literally Davo's only out now is to do something stupid and score pretty quickly. So. <laughs> Thaw only subscribes him so he can have the Thaw emote. <laughs> That's the only reason he does it. If Jim, if you wanted to guarantee yourself, I could just send you the Thaw emote since I made it and just fuck it. <laughs> Sub you. I'll put a hat on it so it's different to make sure he wants it. <laughs> just a red one, so he's got a blue one and a red one like mirrored, or a gold one like his like his outfit for uh, for JFW. Yeah. Yeah, we could just make the exact clone of that, but with the JFW character instead. Yeah. <laughs> it's cheaper and easier if you get yourself affiliated, then you get the Bizzle Wang. <laughs> you say? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> <I can thaw. laughs> um, have you Have you seen any JFW recently, Thaw? You've recently returned. You've been on a tear ever since. Yeah, I don't know if you were if you were away or anything in real life, but uh, it seemed like you weren't in the stream a lot, and you weren't in the JFW a lot either. But then you've just recently returned, so it's glorious. Yeah, you came back to save uh, to save more Plovatch and uh, and uh, Space Cadet of the of Norse Country um, <laughs> from the Sniper Dial. <laughs> and now you've been on a solo tear through the Super Heavyweight Division. It's a very slow paced Super Heavyweight. Tear. <laughs> about eight minutes a turn, but oh, very nice. Well, it's You're good moving some scaffolding there. to live on a different scaffolding. <laughs> He's got to go for the ball here, right? But how? Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he just keeps his guy safe. It punches, punches things. Punchy, punchy. Punch the claw on. Punch the. Uh... Man, I'm not gonna lie, but I, if ever I wanted to see a blitz in a game happen, I want it to happen for Devo right now <laughs> to get a chance to tie this up. If he, if he doesn't. Oh lose the no, Chunta! Get out of town. What are you playing at? What are you even playing at? He's not even following. Get the fuck out of here! What are you playing at? Like if you're gonna foul, then you're gonna foul him, right? What? What? Are you just, what? What? <laughs> He's not fouling with him. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> 
if Chunder thinks he's doing anything other than just rolling a single GFI and scoring next turn, well, it is Devo. Yeah, I'm for Maybe sure I'm fucking Devo. three dice in this little bastard. Like, he's your absolute number one tool for winning the match. Meanwhile, shouldn't I just roll some dice? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so, Bezel, but maybe. Oh, is that? No, it's not a sidestepper, so not, not a huge, not a huge concern, but. Oh, and finally snakes a dodge. Yeah. Doesn't die. Might not be a snake, actually, because there was two tackle zones. That was a snake. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it didn't, it didn't have to be, but yeah. it was. It was. I think he's going to, uh, I think he's going to two dice this guy without block. Oh, yeah, okay, well, he's, he plays the ball, so he's got the blitz in. Yeah. All right, that, that, that's saved. That's hey, saved, so that guy. You can three dice him. Two dice him. But yeah, he's got a GFI score, hasn't he? <laughs> the Chunter School of Gutter Protection, yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess it's okay, three dice in the gutter, but I would have rather three dice this guy with Mighty Blow. I guess it doesn't matter. I guess no, I probably would have hit the, I probably would have 3D the gutter, maybe. I don't know. I like Mighty Blow, you just need numbers down at the end of the day, don't you? At this point. And there it is. He bangs it in for the score. No GFI fail. No tripwire. 2-1. Now he needs a miracle to get that ball back. Yeah, I mean, not really a miracle, is it? He doesn't really need a miracle. He needs well, a bit of luck. Yeah. Like, Skaven and they're mostly edge three. He can hurt dirt base, base, base. He's just got to get at the gutters, hasn't he? But everyone else isn't very mobile. Trim has only got three mobile players. Everyone else can get based by stronger boys and seem a bit rubbish. This is definitely doable for Devo, for sure. And this is, I think this is very well winnable. I mean, drawable. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. I don't know. I, I, I think it's a. Uh... I think it's a tall ask with those with those gutters to try and pin them down when they could they could literally just sit back <laughs> and then still probably score in two turns if oh, they were yeah, on their yeah. own. <laughs> you know, it's it's definitely tough, obviously, but it's definitely it's also definitely doable. It's like it's not as stupid as if. Uh, oh no, certainly not. You know, but... if it was Wood Elves or whatever, where they just two plus everyone away all the time, and you basically have no chance of getting them. The fact that he's only got three super elves um, makes it a bit dodgy. A bit dodgy for Chunterino. The crystal walls of Chunterino. <laughs> J5. Oh dear. I mean, I, I, I guess he can just go for the score, right? He can just go for the two turn score, can't he? I guess that's an option. Like, it's really hard to start. It's probably easier to, to get the ball off a stalling Skaven coach than it is to just, like, you know, than him to just score, if you know what I mean. That wasn't really a sentence, but hopefully you know what I mean. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, it is great for Chunna that he can score on everyone's. It's hard to stop Chunna scoring, so maybe Chunna just tries to score for the 3 1 rather than trying to uh, defend his lead. Yeah, I get, I, I'm picking up what you're putting down. <laughs> Uh, I mean, 
mean, there's some merit to it. I don't like it because it makes you really, really weak to a perfect defense under Blitz, doesn't it? Um, I think this was alright. This looks pretty decent against a Blitz and a perfect defense. I think that's the biggest thing. Just hedge against Blitz and PD. I, I like Jimmy Fantamezzo better. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good, yeah. Not Jizzle. <laughs> 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 God. <laughs> God, J5. <laughs> when you do horror movies, maybe. I can see you as Jizz or Wise. <laughs> oh, dear me. <laughs> Chunter. What is. What it, does Chunter even do, honestly? <laughs> Was that the easiest way to get to that square for him? Probably. Yeah, I, guess, I guess it was. It doesn't feel like it should have been. <laughs> <laughs> it's just classic chunter, isn't it? It's not It's not it's even wrong. He re rolls it too. Oh my gosh. Guess he really wanted the power, didn't he? Chunterino. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Does he? Does he? I don't understand what they're doing up there. Is he? Is he not bringing the ball up? Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I guess he wanted to. Like he still because, got the channel open. He doesn't need. Yeah. He didn't need the power, did he? I really don't know. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, I guess his thinking is, well, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta knock, save the tigers down, because if you don't, I win. Yeah. But he's not exactly like protected. I guess he is a little bit. Yeah, I guess if he powered him, he would have been pretty protected, wouldn't he? I guess that's the thing. I guess that's the thing. He would have been pretty protected if he powered him. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Fair enough, I guess he's pretty protected if he gets the power there. Because now he can block him and then come in and hit him. One, two, three. Monoxide Mezzo. What? Six, GFI, GFI. That's what he wants, isn't he? He wants to, uh. Devil will want to somehow double GFI and smash the gutter, and then he's. hasn't won, but he'll. Feel happy with himself. <laughs> so, yeah, this is it. I mean, this, to be fair, is like the hardest thing in football, isn't it? It's defending against elves. Ah, uh, David, that guy's got a card. <laughs> yeah, that's, that wasn't a good play, was it? Unless he I, don't know, I don't know what he's doing there, but that guy's got guard, so it doesn't help you at all. The other guy who he could have based doesn't have guard. Yeah, unless unless that was unless he wanted to punch this guard guy, Is, that looks like a mistake, doesn't it? I don't know. Might not be a mistake, but it looks like a mistake. I was thinking he could one d. Oh no, he's got sidestep. Never mind. Oh no, it wouldn't have met uh yeah, it would have, yeah, okay. Yeah, I think what he had to do was get bring in this this character the dirty player to assist, another guy yeah. to assist, a guardian to assist, then he could have two then he could have hit him. And then he could have double GFI with him to hit the gutter. That would have been like the something to do. Maybe he just blitzes the storm vermin. Or even the rookie. Defenseless. He's got lots of options, to be fair. Yeah, he goes for the defenseless guy, gets him. Yeah, and gets the armor break would be nice for him here. Doesn't get the armor break. I guess he can still manage a hit here. Still would probably prefer to have guard in on him. Yeah, I guess he's just going to hit the uh, hit the storm vermin. Yeah, I guess so. 
just surround this other guy. <laughs> I mean, he's still got a, just the a, a fucking two plus out right now, or three plus out. Yeah, they well, fall. two plus in it, he's just got the leap out. Well, well now, now it's a two plus. I guess it's tackled though, but yeah, you can just two yeah, plus. He just leaps. He just fully yeah. leaps out, runs into the end zone. And then, but uh, I mean, it's going to be a pretty long pass to four get plus it to pass. him. It's yeah. only a four plus pass. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want to do that though. Like, why give why give Davo an opening at this point? No, yeah, no, I wouldn't want to do it either. But it's just funny that the most stupid thing yeah. <laughs> is yeah. still actually really good. <laughs> Which I guess is a good thing about about uh, Blood Bowl twenty twenty. Yeah, that wouldn't that stupid move that maybe his bad players would do now becomes no longer viable. Mm. Yeah, yeah, very true. Tackle. Yeah, he probably just moves people to the other side and that doesn't he's got to worry about with this. The tackle the two heads tackle is something to worry about. You can stay deep for another turn though, can't you? You didn't have to get upfield. Not gonna nope, need it. Not at all. Yeah, he's definitely gonna leap out because he's he's hit he's tied by a tackle, so he can leap to here and be not even yeah. after two plus away as well. Like he could he could two he could leap to here and then still dodge away from non tackle, but He's not going to want to if he doesn't have to, is he? Oh, can, he could surf this guy, maybe? <laughs> That's fair enough, Moradam, yeah. That's fair enough. Oh, yeah, he can just surf the dirty player, can't he? Leap, leap surf. You can leap surf, then run back into like into a cage. That's pretty cool. Not much of a cage. <laughs> oh, I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> no, it didn't really didn't matter there. No, you, you, it didn't need to leap. It was already edge five anyway. <laughs> I mean, he's against tackle, but I mean, yeah, that's still the same thing as a leap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, that's the thing. I mean, that's the thing, right? You can't pressure the ball, and it like it's it. That's why it's so hard. Exactly. Uh, exactly, Muppet. Like, it's so hard because if you put guys to pressure the ball, then then you're not pressuring the receivers. If you pressure the receiver, you don't pressure the ball. So it's like, so it's it is real tough. Where's the frenzy center of the field? <laughs> sorry, sorry, Lean Gary. Yeah, stand firm. We'll follow this game. Hopefully, it should be over pretty soon. Hopefully, there's no overtime. <laughs> <laughs> No, no bias here though. There hasn't been any bias. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. I'm. 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 I'm pretty sure I'm not biased at all, honestly. Yeah, not not when it comes to actually calling the players and stuff. I just call it how I see it. It depends on your mood, but yeah, in this case, you've been fine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was I was horribly biased in a in a rebel match one time. Yeah, I mean, in in fairness, half the players on the pitch right now have shown up in a JFW ring at some point. Like we've had <laughs> two rat, two fucking rats, chaos warriors. We have a goat man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, we're just we missing the rat ogre, really, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. Why did he reroll that? Sheer frustration. That was weird, Probably. wasn't it? Yeah. That was a weird reroll. Ce joueur est à deux doigts de passer la porte de l'enfer. 
Yeah, but it was the first thing he did, not but like what if he what if he trips skulls here or makes a GFI with anybody and it fails? What about safe moves first? Like what if he rerolls that into dub skulls and now Chunter just wins? Like do that three dice splits first. If you if you're gonna if you're gonna and then plus that's a better one to greed anyway. And while yes there are three turns there are three rerolls for three turns, also you kind of want to reroll if it goes to overtime, right? His best his best uh, case scenario is overtime here. This is only one marker, isn't this? This is pretty easy to get in the ball here. Two plus two plus and avoid the six plus catch. And then he just scores. I guess Chunter goes for this. I guess you one D. I guess you one D with him because that's uh you can re-roll that whereas you can't you know he can't re-roll the uh interception. Yeah, I think it was definitely a tilt re-roll. And that's not me being biased. <laughs> I think that was definitely a tilt re-roll. Yeah, I mean it, it it almost doesn't matter at this point, so Yeah. Oh, do you know what he could do? He could block with a roger, then he could blitz with this lineman. And then he could 2D him, and then, then that's much more likely to get him out of the way. But of course, the Roger. Oh, but then what if you get the push? Then that's no good, is it? Because then you're on him. Oh, yeah, no. Maybe he's just 1D. Oh, he's going to run back. He's going to run back. He has absolutely no incentive to score, so. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, I don't quite, like, quite like that 1D there. If you power him, then it's such an easy touchdown, isn't it? 3 2 Chris's. I guess he gets to blitz with this guy, doesn't he? On 2 because of the guard. Oh, he hasn't served him! No, Shawnee, no! <laughs> what? Was that a blitz well, from the Roger? Oh no! But the Roger might have cost him the match here. Eh? He could have won D, yeah, and then he could have just surfed him. Oh yeah, it's great, isn't it? That one D was fantastic because if you push, you surf him, and if you if you pow, then you score. Yeah, I like that much more. Cost him the match. I think that's a little premature. <laughs> <laughs> you um, can't hit the ball. <laughs> I know. I know. I just wanted to say it. The, I mean, is the, Davo might be in the territory where his best bet is to put that tackler on the on the gutter with the ball and hope he can uh, hope he can force it. Oh, nope, yeah, nice. I pushed him. I can't even can't even do that. I was gonna say, hope he <laughs> snakes a dodge. Yeah, yeah, no, but he's he's safe from that. He just needed the push to handle that. I guess Devo blitzes the, the gutter, finally. Yeah. And then gets this guy downfield. And then Chunter runs away from him. <laughs> yep. I like the instant reroll there. In fairness. Because <laughs> you, re you really want to fail that like 75% armor break. It's not even 75%, yeah. is it? It's more like 80%. He's bearing down on him, Jim. Yeah. This, is this Devo's only scoring threat? No. Not anymore. He does have two scoring threats. Let's 
so you can punch him with somebody. Doesn't really help him. He could kind of free up two players here with bits of he hasn't done it. Don't know what his plan is. I think the best player was to blitz with this guy, to be honest. Because he could have powered him, pushed him away, then he could have blocked him, then that would have given you like, you know, all four of these would have been free then to cage around the ball. I think that was the play. It does seem a little tough to uh, make the ball safer right now. Yeah. Run up here. Do you reckon? But he's got, he's got the, he's got the hit. I guess, I guess even if he hits with him, then he's got to recover with somebody else and get the ball to him. Yeah, so it's tricky. Like even if he doesn't protect the ball at all, he can just, <laughs> he can just run up here, can't he? And then, uh, even if he loses it, he can run up there for the assist. He can block him. I'm gonna... Oh, he's done a pass. Ooh! One's it. Reroll in. Double. One's it. The double one. Ball on the ground. <laughs> there is a brief glimmer of hope here, folks. But not a lot of players from Devo in the area. But that gutter doesn't have sidestep, so he can be cleared in some capacity. But I think we're going to be seeing some dodges from tail. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think you block this guy, blitz him with tackle, and then dodge from dodge uh, from uh, ta dodge from tail and pass it to him and score. It's pretty yeah, easy. Yeah, ki that killer needs to get up and tag the uh, strength four gutter though, or strength three gutter, because that's all he can really do of relevance right now. Yeah, that's that. But then you give away a block if it doesn't work. So no, don't do that. I would say no to that. Really? Yeah, because it doesn't do anything. That it just you just get punched. Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess, but I mean, he he puts a tackle zone on him that doesn't do anything to interfere with the pass. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. edge five. You you can tell I don't have it often. But even if he was even if he was edge four, it doesn't matter because if you lose if you don't score this turn, you've lost. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Good point. Good point. So. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing. There's nothing, there's nothing for him to do. Yeah, safe moves this turn just don't matter. There are no safe moves. <laughs> Powering this guy doesn't matter either, actually, does it? So, so you, what you probably do is you probably block with your claw mighty, and then blitz. Blitz with the guard mighty. Yeah, blitz with blitz with a warrior, and then. Uh, Maybe you could block with him. I doubt it, though. But maybe you could set up some kind of block. Because you've got guard in there already. Can he free one of these guys up on the right to get over and assist a rat ogre I hit? don't no. think so. No, oh, yeah, yeah, he could. He could. No, the guard yeah. is in the way. The guard is in the way. So probably not. Blitzing with him. I don't like that because he, 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 okay, he's got tackled, but it wasn't necessary. He could have just done it with the other guy. Oh, my, uh, my replay for us. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> okay, that way he doesn't have to block him, so he gets a 3 plus dodge instead of a 4, and the 3 plus worked. Alright. Oh, he's picked it up. But there's the intercept chance now, which he doesn't... I like 2 ding him and then dodging from there, but I guess that actually was probably better, actually, what he did. And he failed. No, to be fair, he's probably better what Dave did than what I was going to do. Mm. Well, disappointing result there for Dave, I'm sure, but came right down to it, at least. Had a shot. Yeah. Yeah, thanks to the instant snakes. <laughs> and now, um... Chunter will probably just pick it up in two tackle zones and lob it to the other guy and score, right? <laughs> Doesn't matter, yeah. 
he probably shouldn't. He probably shouldn't do anything that resu- can result in any of his players dying. He probably should just say GG and end the turn, to be honest. Because he's got no re-rolls. Yep. Yes, I he totally, could get SPP. Totally I guess, I guess what you do is you do go for the pickup here. The pickup in the tackle zones and the passes in the tackle zones. But don't risk, don't risk your guy dying. Yeah, I think that was the play. Don't risk yeah. your players dying <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> yeah, just throw it into tackle zones. Yeah. Well, that is that. Commiserations, Andy Davo. Congratulations, Chunter. Good game by all. Yeah, and that was really a real heroic effort by Davo, making the top 64 when he's taken all his holidays to get to the playoffs with the best team he's ever had. Um, <laughs> he was very unlucky to get Chunter in the first round, wasn't he? Because lots of people he would have beaten in the first round. Um, yep. But Chunter is always terrifying, to be fair. He's, you know, the, the fact that he plays so aggressively, yeah, okay, if your dice are good, you're going to get him probably. But if your dice aren't good, it's very rough. So, yeah, congrats to Chunter. Um, thank you, Gorilla Mezzo. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.